And we're back with another episode of Yo Yo Man with Nottingham Forest. In today's episode, we're going to be facing Derby and Stoke, who are the major competitors for the league. Let's go check the fixtures. So the last episode wasn't so great in terms of results, but we, <laughs> well, the next game, we faced Watford, who I believe were sitting top of the table at the time of playing, and we absolutely smashed them 3-0. Armando Harewood, Armando Guerrero, and Florian Gianin with the goals, all coming in 23 minutes. Next up was a 3-1 home win against Redden. David Balla, Sasha Cabrini, and Alas Dabanovic, our new striker, getting his first goal for the club. We then went away from home against Sunderland and we got beat. Stuart McDonald with a 42nd minute winner, a game which we just did not compete in. We then went away from home against Portsmouth and won 2-0. Alex Dabanovic getting two in this game. I did speak to him after uh, the last game and say your form has been absolutely dreadful in the first six or so games of your league career here. And in this one, he got two goals, so it certainly worked. We then faced Brighton and Hove Albion at home and won 4-0. Florian, Rodriguez, Dabanovic and Aziz with the goals. And then I might have fired up Dabanovic a bit too much. He got himself sent off five minutes in away from home against Sheffield Wednesday. But thankfully, we still came away with three points playing basically the full game with 10 men. Ilan Delpy with the goal in the 51st minute. And finally, it was a 4-1 home win against Swansea City. Howard, Vasilovic, Shoji and Herrero with the goals in this one. And that sees the championship table looking like this. We sit top of the tree. Only three points ahead of Watford Door in second and seven points ahead of Stoke in third. That leaves today's games against Derby and Stoke absolutely crucial. Now, the Derby game at home, they're sitting in 10th. We should win that one, realistically. But away from home against Stoke is going to be the major one. If we can win that game, we can pretty much guarantee ourselves automatic promotion. In terms of the first 11 for today's game, then we are having some major, major injury and suspension crises. Dabanovic, our striker, is still suspended after his uh, red card in the previous, not the previous game, the one before that. So this will be the final game he's missing for. Florian, he's now injured for three weeks. He's going to miss the majority of the rest of this season, which is devastating. Florian has been playing on this right-hand side and the inverted winger role on the right side fits him far more, far better than he ever did as an advanced forward. Just down to his poor finishing, so we are training him to be a right winger. And uh, who else is missing? There is Lee Pierce, our starting left winger, is also injured now. That leaves us with a problem because Shoji would usually come in on the left-hand side but then we have to play him at striker. So our we'll backup left back is coming in on the left hand side to fill in. So our attack and four is a lot weaker than it would usually be. But apart from the attacking areas, everyone everywhere else is pretty much full strength. Derby County at home. They are sitting mid table. It's a game we should win. They're matching our formation. It doesn't look like there's any superstars in that, uh, in that squad that I recognise. So let's get the kick off. First highlight of the game comes nine minutes in. It was a big kick from the Derby County goalkeeper, which we ended up winning. And Howard comes down this right-hand side, combining with uh, Westbrook over there. It looks like we're working it across nicely to the other wing. Lewis over to Lucas Pinter. The two left-backs combining. And Pierce is there in the box. Shane Pierce gets his seventh goal of the season from attacking midfield and puts us 1-0 up 10 minutes in. Some good combination work in the midfield. Lewis and Pinter actually combining on the left-hand side into a great cross and a great header. So we have had bad spells of form with Nottingham Forest this season, but it looks like we're going to come through it. It looks like if things are to steer as they are, we are going to get automatic promotion. Now, at this point in time, we are looking to win the league. Um, it's not just about promotion now. With uh, the lead that we have over Stoke in third, David Ballas with the goal. He is seventh of the, seventh of the season from uh, centre-backs. Pretty special. But yeah, so we are looking to win the league. Uh, Stoke look like they're pretty much out of the race if we can beat them today. And Watford are the other side who are chasing us. So we've got ourselves in a great position. We'll just need to win two wins today. Free kick, two minutes to go at half time. The keeper claims it. And that is not going to be the highlight. Howard with a long kick through from the back. And Shoji is there to capitalise with his fifth goal of the season. I've been a little bit disappointed in Shuto. Shoji over the course of this season. I did think he was going to come in and uh, potentially be our first choice striker. But he's maybe proven that he does have the attributes to contribute at this level. And uh, it's a tidy finish. And that is going to be it for half-time. Nottingham Forest 3, Derby County 0. 
We'll tell the boys we're proud. And then we'll move on. Westbrook with a corner early on in the second half. And Billa, Ballas, I tell you what, lads. Make sure you sort out your corner tactic. Even if it's as simple as I've got mine as aiming for the near post. With your taller central defender being the man looking to attack the near post. And it's producing some really, really good goals. Eighth goal of the season for our centre-back. Fantastic. And with about 20 odd minutes or so to go, we will look to make some changes. We'll maybe look uh, move Adam Lewis back to the left-back spot out of left wing and put George Hard on the left wing and take off Lewis Pinter. Uh, we'll keep on Jason Westbrook. I don't think we have many options in the attacking positions now. Ian Delby can come off. We'll bring on uh, Miguel Aziz. And that is going to be that for the subs. 20 minutes or so to go. Derby County with a free kick. It's worked well, but the keeper has an easy save in the end. Oh, they've just brought on Alexi. Oh, Alexi. I should have signed him, shouldn't I? Um, I believe Derby paid about a couple of million pounds from Huddersfield. He hasn't been getting game for time for them in the Premier League. Now he's playing for Derby County. Makes me a little bit sad. But well done, boys. Nottingham Forest 4, Derby County nil. First game, job done. It's the next game that's the important one, though. And just to quickly give you another little update on what's happening with our former clubs. I think... Leeds United are going to get relegated. How unbelievable would that be? Finishing, what was it, fourth last season? 78 points or whatever we got. And they are currently sitting bottom of the table on 24 points. Never has any of our sides been this this bad this late on in this season. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Barnsley and Birmingham sitting mid-table. Huddersfield fighting for uh, European football. We'll have to check that at the end of the season. Right, so we're at the Stoke City game. We're having some problems. <laughs> some more, more problems. So, uh, our left-back, Lucas Pinter, got injured on international duty. Yeah, I could put him in the starting squad and put Adam Lewis up to left wing. Um, but I think we're just going to stick with that move. George Hard into the left wing spot. Uh, we're starting central midfielder, Max Rodriguez. He also got injured on international duty. So, Miguel Aziz comes in in the central midfield uh, spot. And that leaves our first eleven. Pretty heavily rotated going into one of the biggest matches of the season. We might end up struggling in this one. We need to at least avoid defeat. If we avoid defeat, I'll be pretty happy away from home against Stoke. Um, but ideally, we do want the win. So Stoke have become a familiar four for us in the uh, championship. Pietro Ravaglia is always one of the top scorers in the league and has been ever since he signed for Stoke City all them years ago. He's been a very faithful servant, so we'll have to try and keep him quiet if we are to succeed. They've also got Stevanovic on this left-hand side, and if you remember, all the way back, we signed him from uh, Partizan for Barnsley as a youngster with high potential. Hasn't quite uh, made it, really. I think, I think it would be fair to say, but he is going to be a danger man for Stoke. Highlight very early on in this match, three minutes in at Stoke City, who are in possession in their defensive area. Can we pinch the ball? We certainly can. Ilan Delby wins it. He sets the uh, way Shoji up top. Who goes for goal without not a very good strike. And we have another highlight straight away as well. Stefanovic with a free kick. <sighs> Stoke City go close. Another highlight now. Stoke sets away Ravaglia in behind. Our keeper goes down for it. And he goes round the keeper too easily. And the main man Pietro Ravaglia gets his 18th goal of the season. And put Stoke City 1-0 up very early on. Not great for us. Barton with the ball through. Uh, our keeper sort of goes for it, sort of doesn't. And then Ravaglia completely doesn't. We're in trouble. 25 minutes gone now. We are on the attack. Do not lose the ball. And do not get countered. That is the main thing. Hard. He's got uh, Adam Lewis overlapping on this left-hand side. He whips it in. Shows he down hard to Pierce. Yes, Shane Pierce gets his eighth goal of the season to level things up. We're seeing some good things out of Shane and he's one of the players who, if we are to get promoted, um, would likely be one of my starting 11 for the Premier League. Uh, there's not many players I can say that for in this Nottingham Forest side, but he's definitely one of them. 1-1. One, one. Another highlight now. Free kick that's played over the top and Shoji is in behind. And Shuto should be scoring. We'll stick with the corner though because we have been pretty successful from them uh, recently. Not this time, but it does come out to Pierce on this uh, right-hand side. He tries to whip it in, gets dispossessed and it's cleared. Going by the match stats, this game is actually going pretty well for us. We're keeping the majority of the possession and we've created a good number of opportunities. But we've got to be wary of this Stoke City counter-attack, which caught us out for their goal, of course. We work the ball nicely to Jason Westbrook on this right-hand side who cuts in. Finds hard on the left. Tries to whip it in. When it comes to Adam Lewis. He does whip it in. Westbrook's there, back post. 
and the keeper with an absolutely brilliant save for Stoke keeps them level as things there we are that's half time Stoke 1 Nottingham Forest 1 not too bad for us honestly um I would take a 1-1 draw in this game particularly with just the the level of player we've got playing out there is not not our best the second half has been pretty quiet we get our first highlight 67 minutes in Stoke give the ball away sloppily and now our attacking players are starting to combine hard on this left hand side though gives the ball away and it's going to be a Stoke City counter attack Barton's there he's got Ravaglia in the box he goes for a goal himself thankfully for us and it's an easy save for the keeper 15 minutes to go we will look to make some changes Shane Pearce can come off we've got Garber of course our new signing in January available to come straight in hard we don't really have very good options on this left hand side we're going to bring on Kieran Dowell and um, we'll see how he gets on and then of course our only fit striker Shoji gets injured we'll bring on Michael Alisi he is not a striker by any stretch of the imaginations but he's the only player who can play there right for, <laughs> play there for us right now Guerrero with a free kick oh he buries it Armando Guerrero our centre half gets his third goal of the season with a direct free kick has anybody else noticed since the update um, a few weeks ago di uh, free kicks are a lot more effective I've definitely noticed it in my saves um, and that, that's just proof of it there let's have a look and see what his free kick taking ability is 13 <laughs> so he's, he's okay and time is ticking away in this one this will be an absolutely huge win Stoke City 1 Nottingham Forest 2 even with a heavily rotated side our boys have managed to pull through and that does that guarantee us promotion let's see we are now 13 points clear from Stoke with only four games remaining and we boys have been promoted to the Premier League at the first time of asking with Nottingham Forest in terms of the budgets for next season we're going to have 40 million and 600,000 pounds available in the wages um I'm not sure what to do now <laughs> do we uh do we keep playing ah uh, listen there's four games to go we're only three points clear from Watford it's still going to be a case of can we win the title Crystal Palace QPR are both away from home then Bournemouth and West Brom at home are going to be tough games as well so uh, we'll probably see you for the final game of the season maybe West Brom maybe if there is a game that could clinch the title for us we'll maybe come back for that we'll wait and see in the next episode but if you have enjoyed today's video please consider leaving a like and if you are enjoying my content get yourself subscribed or and I have set up my Twitch channel. Links down below. If you're interested in the Sun and Save, it will be on Twitch from now on. But anyway, boys, until next time, take it easy. <laughs>